welcome back. Today I'm going to be harvesting my onions. Just want to bring you along with that. And um, yeah, of all the trouble, maybe you guys will see the end result. Alright, so let me get on with that and show you guys these lovely onions. Yeah, today has finally arrived. The day has finally arrived, I meant to say. I'm going to be pulling these out, bringing them to dry. And yeah, maybe even give them a little weigh in. The biggest one I've got there. Because like I said, this is a very impressive result. Considering how these things started off. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my turbo onions, which is um, these ones along here. You know, the green ones. Yes, I think this is a, you know, a nice looking onion. Got some small ones there, these ones, you know. Didn't quite take as the others. But still, an onion is an onion. Right. Like I said, in the beginning of the season, these turbo onions, yeah. They were, they were a little bit troublesome, should I say. But um, I don't know if that's just a trace they have. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's just a trace they have, like where they, when they're beginning to grow, they give a little bit, you know, like the leaves curl. I don't know if it was onion leaf miner they did have, but either way, yeah, we did pull through in the end. We got some nice onions, you know. If you check out like this one here, size of my hands opened wide, you know, it's a lovely onion. I don't know if anybody else did grow these turbo onions. Initially, I got them from Wilco's. So yeah, so if anybody grew them and you want to comment, let me know if yours came out like this or if you had any problems with them in the beginning. I'd love to, to hear about that. But yeah, this is a nice onion. I think I'll definitely be trying to grow turbo onions again next year. The previous years when I had tried to grow these, they either get dug up by the foxes or the cats or something, but something just kept dug, digging them up and they would go straight into flower. This year they did give a little problem, but I actually got onions from them. Yeah, nice looking onions. So I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna pull out these, um, the rest of the turbos. Then we're gonna move on to the red ones. Now the red ones, they were a little bit more thing, you know, a little bit more funny to work with. A lot of them did go into flower, but um, some of them did stay back and gave some good onions. Size of this, yeah, man. I'm just basically just pulling them out. So we're now over to the red ones. I say the red ones didn't get quite as big. Most of them, you know, fairly good size. Fairly good size. The ones that did um, stay behind and did not, you know, go into flower. Yeah, they're fairly good size, as you can see. This one here is nice. Yeah, good looking onions. I mean, I'm quite, um, quite happy with the result. Yeah. We're happy with the result of this. Actually, I think this might even be a spring onion that grew into an onion. Wow, that's quite impressive. That's a spring onion. Wow, yeah. So, pulling out the rest, as you can see, like this one here like it will have the flower coming at the side of it but yeah I still got onion I don't know if it just rebulbed or something but yeah still got onion from that not complaining the same kind of thing happening here again like the flower bulb is coming after the side of it you know but yeah still an onion I'm going to be putting this to dry along the way. 
As I was saying to you about the spring onions, sometimes I don't know if they fuse together or if it's just the bulbs just get real big. But if you leave them there for very, like say like a year or so, I don't know, overwinter them and then leave them for the rest of the year, the bulbs seem to get big like an onion. Yeah, but this this red onion here, that, that's the most impressive one that I've got there so far. It's a nice size onion, you know. one comes close to but yeah, hopefully I can put them on a little scale I think I, I got a scale over the weekend that I came through Amazon so I can weigh these little small things like that and give you a result of what I'm trying to sell but yeah and at the end there I did have the um, the Charlotte's but I didn't show the video of me um you know harvesting those but yeah guys overall the, the result of my onions I'm quite happy so these ones was called red onions and these ones here were called turbo onions, you know? And like I said, even with the turbo, I'm quite impressed with that. So on that, lad, guys, sorry, I'm going to say, live well, and together we grow.